So now that we understood where to start, let's now understand which functional career path to choose from. I have noted down this diagram here to tell you about the business areas that forms an enterprise or a large organization, which is right from the marketing of a product. So it could be marketing, sales of a product. And once, of course, you know, you market a product, you get leads, and that through that leads, uh, they become prospects, and the prospect uh, will become customers. That's where you go and sell it. Once you sell it, that's where, you know, you ship the products to them and send the invoice, get the money from the customers. And for future, you plan, okay? So, <clears throat> based on the previous history of selling, and uh, you make future forecasting and planning. And that's where, based on that, you go and procure your raw materials with the suppliers. So, the procurement is nothing but the sourcing side. And once you obviously source your material, then you go and manufacture those raw materials into finished goods. And the cycle starts again right from here, you know, the marketing to selling. So this is an iterative cycle that keeps going on. So in terms of the business areas, as you could see here, we briefly understood, you've got marketing as one areas. <coughs> marketing is a very high word, but uh, you know, you can call it either as a CRM as well you know, sales and marketing or customer relationship management. So that's one area. The second area is sales, the selling side. Okay, so as I said, selling involves, you know, um, taking the order from the customer, then uh, picking the order from your warehouses, and then packing it, shipping it to the customer, and finally sending an invoice to the customer. Customer pays you, and that's what the invoice, uh, the payment you receive it, and then you post it further to your general ledger. So that's the sales side of the business area. Then you've got planning side. As I said, planning involves looking at the past sales and then making a plan for the future. And then a procurement or sourcing side and finally manufacturing. So at a broad level, these are the functional business areas. In the next slide, what I've done is <coughs> I've aligned each of these functional business areas to business process flows. And this is just as what I've explained you out here. So each of the business area has got a business process flow in Oracle applications or specifically Oracle eBusiness Suite. For instance, a business process flow related to marketing of products is called as plan to campaign, campaign to results. So plan to campaign means what? You plan for campaigning, you go and campaign in the market, and finally, the campaign may result in leads or prospects, right? And that's what you call it as campaign to results. So it involves a number of modules in this process flow, but that's what will form the whole business process flow. On the same line, if you come on to the sales side, you've got a process flow that's called as order to cash. Order to cash, I've used one process flow, which is again at a very high level. Within that, you've got several children process flows. All right. So order to cash is a process wherein an order is taken and then that order is sent to the customer and you build the order to receive the money. As simple as that. 